citizen, patriot, statesman, Sonny Montgomery has his fingerprints on this great state and this great nation. When I reflect on Sonny's life, four things come to mind. He loved his family. He was dedicated to his friends. He had a destiny to serve and the legacy that he left. Sonny's basic traits are firm faith, positive patriotism, goodwill relationships, and stay in the course are a model for political leaders and as citizens also from all walks of life. Passing this legacy on to future generations will strengthen our country as it strengthens the region of East Mississippi and West Alabama. But I can't fail to mention the Congressional Prayer Breakfast. Sonny nurtured the prayer breakfast like the master gardener his garden. It was his ministry to his colleagues in the house. He came as near as any public servant I've ever met to fulfilling that divine command to love thy neighbor as thyself. Sonny was family. I also remember the Sundays when we'd be greeted by Sonny at the Church of the Presidents across Lafayette Park. Sonny sat with us, and he would slip a dollar to George. Sonny knew that presidents never carry money. In recent years, he's carried on that same nice tradition with the 43rd president of the United States. We got congressmen everywhere. But there's one special former congressman with us. He's a man, I, 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 when I'm in Washington, I go to church right across the street from the White House. And this fellow always saves me a pew, sat in the pew. He's been a great friend of my family's. He's a great friend of Mississippi. He is the namesake of the Montgomery Institute in Meridian, Mississippi, and that's Sonny Montgomery. It looks like they still remember you, Sonny, and love you just like I do. Sonny Montgomery said once, patriotism is a pretty simple word, but also a beautiful word to most Americans. Sonny Montgomery exemplified patriotism, and he will be missed. To recount his service to our nation's defense, where do you start? First and always, he was an American soldier. He loved the Army, and he served it faithfully in and out of uniform. Now, Sonny's patriotism was not a flag-waving show. It was a heartfelt and deeply spiritual belief in the American people. He was among America's strongest advocates for our men and women in uniform. And after nearly three decades on the Committee on Veterans Affairs, including 13 years as its chairman, he left an indelible mark for veterans across America. The Guard, made ready to serve by Sonny's decades-long efforts to ensure they had the resources, the training, and equipment to answer the call to duty. He knew that the citizen soldier came only from the community, and they were product of the church, they were product of the schools, they were product of our homes. And he knew the value of that, the great strength of this country. But where was Sonny's greatest emotion? I believe it was with the soldier in the field whether volunteer or draftee, for Sonny was a patriot and he loved and appreciated those that served. It may seem contradictory that Sonny's views on issues of public policy had been so strong, but at the same time he'd have such warm relationships with his adversaries. But that's not a contradiction. It's a combination, a combination of the personal attributes that made Sonny Sonny. Little touches, things that reflected Sonny's inherent decency and genuine affection for everyone he met. Friendship had a powerful meaning in the life of Sonny Montgomery. Sonny cherished that time together with his colleagues where members checked their rancor and partisanship at the door, an island of fellowship in a congressional sea increasingly vexed by partisan rancor and bitterness. Sonny was always one of us. And he didn't care if you were the 
president of the United States or a waiter in the restaurant or the barber who cut his hair, Sonny treated all of them, all of us, the same, with kindness, compassion, and respect. He had perseverance and strength of character, tempered always with humility and compassion. And above all, he was a kind man. Where do you start? His record of service and accomplishment is extraordinary, spanned most of the last century. One of the greats of the greatest generation. Throughout his life, he showed it was possible to get things done, even in the most rigorous arenas, military to Congress. His little black book that he always had with him, he used it to make notes of the requests he received for assistance when he was traveling in his district. It was a valuable tool for constituent service. He always followed up and did his best to respond to every request for information or assistance. Always visible. And that constituent service of his far surpassed what anybody had ever done before. Indeed, every member of Congress from Mississippi since then has followed Sonny's lead on constituent service. Where do men like these come from, this greatest generation? This one proudly comes from Meridian, Mississippi. Meridian was the most important place on earth in the heart of Sonny Montgomery. Sonny's legacy should be appropriately preserved. And in that effort, here in Meridian is an organization named after Sonny, dedicated to fostering more cooperation among communities and ensuring that Sonny's example of leadership is applied throughout East Mississippi and West Alabama. There's no better way to honor him than by supporting the Riley Foundation's initiative that created the Montgomery Institute. Because it is successfully working to promote regional prosperity in East Mississippi and West Alabama. It is the aspiration of the Montgomery Institute that Sonny's example of patriotism, character, compassion, faith, and persistence be reflected in our work. The Montgomery Institute supports and nurtures the civic, educational, and economic growth of this region, our region, Sonny's region. Thank you.